Hey everyone, Zach here from Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a quick look at the Xbox Ally. Specifically, we're taking a look at some of the Windows optimizations Microsoft is making to improve the gaming experience on handheld devices. So this is the first device along with the Ally X that will launch with this new experience. And if you're thinking, this looks quite familiar. That's because it is familiar. This is basically the Xbox app that ships on all Windows 11 PCs running in a full screen mode. Now this mode is special because it does a number of things to the operating system behind the scenes to improve performance. It basically stops running things like the desktop background. It unloads the Windows taskbar and start menu. It just makes sure that the experience you're having is the best it possibly can be for playing games. Now there is a way to go back to that traditional interface if that's what you prefer, but uh, for now, let's take a look at the Xbox's settings because this is a little bit different from the Xbox app you have on normal Windows PCs. If we come down to the app area, you'll see there's a new option for configuring your home app. Now, this is basically what the Xbox app is. It's dedicated as a home app now. As you can see, you can customize which home app you boot into. Right now, of course, Xbox is the only choice, but perhaps down the line, maybe Steam or the Epic Games Launcher or other third-party storefronts could be set here as well. You can also choose to boot into this directly. So when you log into your handheld, instead of seeing the Windows desktop first, you just go straight into this full screen Xbox experience. Now, all apps you run in this mode run in full screen. There's no cascading windows. As I said, the traditional desktop isn't loaded in in this mode. Now, there's a couple of ways to get back into that traditional interface. We'll take a look at that in a second, but for now, uh, let's take a look at what the Xbox button does, because that, of course, is uh, one of the unique aspects of the Xbox Ally. So wherever we are in the system, we can hit the Xbox button and that will bring up the Xbox guide. In this case, it's the, the Windows 11 game bar. But if you tap and hold it, you'll get a new interface. This is a task switcher built specifically for uh, handheld gaming PCs. So this replaces the Windows task switcher with a, essentially a gaming one and it makes it easier to switch between apps on your device. But it's nice to be able to quickly switch between games and apps that are running on the handheld with the controller buttons versus having to use the traditional sort of window shell or a keyboard shortcut to get into that mode. You can just hold the Xbox button and switch between it with this stick or with the right bumper and left bumper buttons on the top of the device. Uh, the Xbox game by itself is unchanged more or less. There's an option to exit and enter into the full screen experience through the Xbox game bar, but you can also enter the Windows desktop mode from this task switcher UI as well. As you can see at the bottom of the screen there, we have an option to hit the Windows desktop. So the process of switching from the Xbox app into the desktop is very seamless. Just go into this task switcher, select the Windows desktop, press continue, and you will see the traditional Windows 11 interface, complete with its taskbar, start menu, and cascading app windows. There is a way to get back into the full screen Xbox experience just by opening the game bar and selecting the enter full screen experience option. Now, Windows will ask you to restart to best optimize the device, but you don't have to do that. You can just quickly switch between the UIs if you'd like. Uh, but Microsoft says they recommend restarting the device as it allows Windows to unload all of those additional resources it loaded to get the Windows desktop to show. So if you'd like the best performance, uh, Microsoft recommends you restart as you switch back into the full screen Xbox mode, but you don't have to do that. So there we have it. That's a quick look at some of the optimizations Microsoft is making to Windows 11 to make it run better on handheld devices. This experience should be launching first on the Xbox Ally and the Xbox Ally X later this year, but it's expected to come to all Windows 11 handheld PCs over the course of 2026. So it's not just the Xbox Ally and Ally X. For those wondering, this is the, the standard Xbox Ally in this video, um, but the experience should be identical across both. So thank you very much for watching and we shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.